Mariama, 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 Kai fi Mariama, Mariama, Mariama. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Aji Ami. Today, I decided to come quite differently and just go with this dramatic bold eyeliner and red lips obviously red lips is a bit tricky color for us black girls especially if you have big lips like mine so I wanted to show you the technique that's gonna make you rock a perfect red lip without feeling insecure I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one bye now okay trendy babes let's get started i'm gonna start by using this Kara care wax stick this is a styling stick that i will link down below so you guys can go ahead and purchase it's amazing to keep the hairs together and it makes it so sleek without making it hard i decided to go with this 1960s look because this hairstyle looks amazing with a red lip now i'm gonna cut some baby hairs and i like to make that short and then using my eco styling gel i'm going to go ahead and sway this using a hair straightener i'm flicking the hair outwards and this is the style that i wanted to achieve the hairstyle was so simple y'all so let's get moving to the makeup i'm using my dior glow booster just to give my face a little bit of glow And then moving on, I'm using Zikel in Sexy Almond as my foundation. As you all know, this foundation is slightly lighter than me. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Deep Bronze. And together, this is going to give me a flawless finish. Today's concealer is the Maybelline Anti Rewind H. I think that's what the name is. And Maybelline Fit Me. I'm mixing these two together just to get a nice highlight. River, for your love, I will cry me a river. Maria, will I say? I'm gonna go back to my foundation brush and just blend the edges of this highlight. For oh, my contour stick, I never change you guys. It's the Espresso from Fenty Beauty. I love this product. Just getting into a little bit of a reverse contouring here, so I'm using the remaining of the highlight from my blending brush just to carve that. Using my Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent, I'm gonna set my face. Today's contour is going to be Swiss Chocolate by MAC. This has such a beautiful, nice brown tone to it. And I like using this to set my contour. I'm going to use this Benefit Precisely My Brows in number 4, just to shape my brows. And I'm going to use my Eco Styling Gel to set my brows. I love doing this because it lasts really long. Now I'm using my NARS Blush in Exhibita. I'm going to use my favorite setting spray from Morphe. This is the Continuous Setting Spray. I love how this turns out. I'm gonna use this palette from Morphe. I will link all the palettes down below so you guys see which number I use so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Now this eye look is gonna be so simple because I wanted to go for that bold eyeliner. Using my Inglot number 77 AMC gel liner, I'm going to go ahead and do such a bold eyeliner. Now I'm doing a cat shape one because I wanted to create a retro 1960s look. I'm going to use that black eyeshadow to set my gel liner. Now, I first started off lining my waterline with this white pencil, but I didn't like how it turned out. So I went back and redid it with a black eyeliner. So I'm now using a Kiko Intense Black Liner. It's time to highlight. I'm going to use my Real Hyper Glow by MAC, and I'm using that shade to highlight all these points. Going back to 
my gel liner i'm gonna go ahead and create a beauty spot Ooh, Before I apply my lipstick, this is the tip you guys. If you have big lips and you feel a bit insecure, take your concealer, shape your lips and make them smaller. Shape them really, really nicely before you apply the red lip. <laughs> Now I'm just going to blend that concealer out and also set it with my Laura Mercier setting powder so the concealer doesn't melt throughout the day. I'm using this liquid lipstick from Colored Rain. This is in the shade Cherry Blossom. I love this red lip because it has that blue undertone. It's so pretty on dark skin. It's not too bright. And I just love how it sits matte throughout the day. As you guys can see, I'm carefully applying this red lipstick because red stains really badly. So please be very careful and take your time when you're doing this step. <laughs> some earrings and we're all done for today's look thank you very much for watching guys i will see you on my next one